Hello again and welcome back. This time we are going to learn about OCaml queue. The queue data structure, something you are familiar with hopefully, is a data structure where we can add and remove elements and the order of adding and removing elements does actually matter. What that means is if we add, I mean you can imagine a queue now where for example people are standing one uh, after another the first person who is at the first position gets served first yes so the um, basically the one who comes first goes out first so first in first out yes that's what a queue is in OCaml and in, in, in every programming language the queue data structure works like that it's a data structure where we can add things and remove them but the way they're added and removed are in the same sort of order i.e. Who, who, whatever we add, for add first comes out first whatever we add uh, last comes out last enough talking let's see what that means but however I am sure you've actually seen that uh, before at least for the list for example when we studied the list data structure now straight to our um, to the website to the list of in, to the modules that we have and we go down to queue and we see there first in first out as you, as I said before so whoever comes first goes out first um, it's a first in first out queue and we have several functions create add push take pop peek top clear copy is empty length and we have the iterate unfold last time I was explaining hash tables and I w in the title I put uh, map no there's no map uh, f there's no, there, there isn't a map function in the um, hash table module it's actually fold and the way they work is exactly the same so I probably I won't be a I won't be adding a video to cover them unless if I do it quickly now for example and some functions are exactly the same here so push is the same as add yeah synonym for add and take and pop they are synonyms of each other so take and pop are exactly the same peak returns the first element in the queue without removing it you just you just have a look top is same as peak synonym for peak clear discards all elements of the queue so clear this queue copy return a copy of the given queue is empty checks and length the name explains it all now let's have a look at we can at how we can create a queue in our camel if you look at the simple code the way we created similar to hash table q equals q dot create and by the way if you have a function that res don't receive any value that doesn't receive any parameters any variables then you have to give it the uh, the parentheses yes so if you have a function you want to declare a function let for example my fun and doesn't re receive anything don't do it like that no you have to give it the empty parentheses to tell a compiler that doesn't receive anything Anyway, let me copy and paste that code. Go to our beautiful top level, and that's how we create a queue. Now, in hash table, the way hash table worked is we do hash table dot function name, and then we give the hash table name, and then we give a value. For the queue, however, it's the other way around. So if we wanted to add something to a hash table, we do hash table dot add, and then hash table name, and then value. Whereas uh, for the queue, we do queue.add, we give the value first and then the queue name as you can see here. So it's just a small difference. We add four. Uh, we can add for example, and now it's polymorphic by the way. Queues in OCaml are polymorphic as the other data structures, but as soon as we add an integer, automatically it will know that it's an integer. Yes, so it's saying it's actually um, a polymorphic queue as you can see from there. Now, We've added four. Let's add, for example, five to Q. Let's add, for example, um, twelve to Q, and let's add just another one, maybe minus four to Q. Yes, basically we need to say minus four in parentheses to Q. Yes. Now, if I want to check the size, I can see Q dot length queue and it has four elements the one the ones we've added now if I if I want to retrieve an element notice by the way add and push are exactly the same so I could have said push instead of add and then to take something out I can say take or pop 
and they will remove and return the first element in the queue if you remember now and of course if the queue is empty then return uh, re they will raise empty uh, uh, if the if empty so that's uh, that's an exception we've learned how to handle exceptions in Ocamba if you remember we said these are first in first out so the f this four here is the first element if we try to take it out of the queue if we try to just uh, for example pop and then queue what do you think now we've added minus four as the last and four was add the first element and we get four because that's the first element now if we check the queue size by the way then it'll be three because that four has been taken out yes I hope that makes sense pop returns the first element of the queue the one we added first it actually removes it from the queue so I could have said for example let i equals uh, uh, q dot pop q and then that will be saved in variable i take is exactly the same I could have said take instead of pop peak gives us the value of the f returns the first element without removing it from the queue so I could have said for example q dot peak and after removing 4 q of course after removing 4 5 should be the first element and we get 5 as you can see there um, is empty true or false whether it's empty or not the length we've seen iterate before so we have a function and a queue and then fold um, our function accumulator and a queue L is the list of queues elements yes by the way I'm sure you by now you could have you should have worked out that the, the underlying implementation of the queue data structure is actually a list and the stack is exactly the same we just need to reverse the list if we want to do um, last and first out <coughs> or maybe the other way around I'm not sure to be honest but I'm sure you get the idea now let's see how iterate works so we have iterate function and a queue applies if in turn in turn to all elements of the queue I hope that makes sense so we can so for example queue dot iterate so the function is first right yes we have an anonymous function we can say fun x and then because my uh, ele the element ha here are uh, integers so I can say print int x and maybe print new line just to separate them by new line close the anonymous function and give the queue name and as you can see prints out 5 12 and minus 4 and again notice first in last also it starts with the very first element which is actually 5 not minus 4 thanks again for watching I'll stop here and I'll explain how the stack works in OCaml in my next video